Okay, in this video I'm going to be talking about uh, doing unit conversions from Imperial uh, to metric and also from the metric system to the Imperial system. Um, the important thing to remember um, is that you need to know at least one of the conversion rates between the two, un uh, between the two systems. Um, it doesn't really matter what units uh, we're working with. In this case, we're working with units of length. Um, but if you're using with uh, working with units of weight or mass or whatever, you just have to know what the conversion rate for one of those units are, and then you should be able to go from there using unit analysis. So um, we're going to be using examples with units of length, uh, which are probably the most common ones. And the important thing to remember is that one inch is equal to 2.54 centimeters. And so that's the imperial to the metric conversion. And I have these other conversions uh, from imperial to imperial left over from my other video. I just decided to include them here as well. Now, if you haven't uh, looked at imperial to imperial conversions or metric to metric conversions, please see my other videos on those. And I'll try and put links to those uh, in the annotations. Okay, so let's get started here. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this through a process called uh, unit analysis, which I've discussed in my other videos as well. And in unit analysis, what we're doing is we are taking advantage of the fact that um, not only can the numeric values of units be multiplied and divided, but also the units themselves can be multiplied and divided. And I'll show you an example of this. So let's say we had, for instance, a question like uh, 70 inches is equal to blank centimeters. Okay, so we want to convert 70 inches into centimeters. Okay, so what I would do is I would say 70 inches and uh, then I would go to the conversion rate. Okay, and I have 1 inch is 2.54 centimeters. Okay, and what I would do is I put the 1 inch on the bottom and the 2.54 centimeters on the top, okay, because I'm multiplying it by the inch to centimeter ratio. And what you'll see is you have inches here and inches here, so you have inches divided by inches, and um, they divide out and you're left with just centimeters as a unit. Now that's why I set this up this way, so inches on the bottom in this ratio, because I needed it to cancel out the inches on the top uh, from, the first, from the first term. Okay, and then what we would do is we just say, so it's 70 times 2.54, Okay, so it's 70 times 2.54, and I get 177.8. Centimeters. Okay, or in scientific notation would be 1.778 times 10 to the 2 centimeters. Okay, and that's how it's done. Now I'll show you a little more complicated example. And again, I'm going to just stick with my knowledge of my inches to centimeters ratio. Um, and I'm still going to do the same thing, but I'm going to use a much more complicated one. So let's say, for instance, I get 1.5 miles. And I want to find out how many meters that is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with 1.5 miles and I'm going to multiply it by my ratios. Now first I have to, I only really know uh, just offhand what inches to centimeters are. So what I have to do is convert the miles all the way down to inches and then convert the inches to centimeters and then I'm going to have to convert the centimeters to meters which is uh, not so bad. Okay, so it is 1,760 yards. So it's 1,760 yards in one mile. Okay, and then I'm going to multiply this by three feet per yard. Okay, and I'm going to multiply this by 12 inches in one foot. Okay, and the reason why, as I said, I'm doing it this way is because I have to bring the miles all the way down to inches because the only conversion that I have on hand is from inches to centimeters. Now, if I happen to have a miles to meters uh, conversion, I could do this much easier. But I thought I'd do it this way to show a more complicated example. Okay, and so what I have is miles divided by miles cancels out, yards divided by yards, which cancels out, and feet divided by feet, which cancels out. Okay, and what I'm going to get here is I'm going to get this calculation where I have 
1.5 miles times 1760 times 3 times 12. Okay, and I get 95,040 inches. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do inches to centimeters. So I have 95,040 inches um, times 2.54 centimeters per one inch. Okay, and then what I have to do is I have to go to meters. Okay, and then what I'll have is one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Okay, and you can see, once again, I have inches on the top and I put the inches on the bottom here so that they could cancel each other out. And then once again, I also put the centimeters on the bottom here so it would cancel out the centimeters. Okay, and so, going to my trusty calculator, I have 95,040 times 2.54 um, divided by 100. Okay, and that gives me 2,414.016. So, 2,414.016. Okay, or 2.414016 times 10 to the 3 meters. Okay, and so that's uh, doing unit conversion, okay, using unit analysis. Now, so far I've done from the imperial to the metric system. And I'll just do one example going from metric to imperial, um, just to show that it's the same thing. Okay, so let's say, for instance, I'll use an, uh, an intermediate one. So one not as complicated, but not a simple, simple one. So let's say I have 1.0 meters, uh, and I want to convert that and find out how many inches are there. Okay, so again, what I do is set up as 1.0 meters. And I'm going to find a ratio that I can convert to. Now I need to get the meters to centimeters uh, because the only ratio I have on hand is this one, the centimeters to inches one. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I have 100 centimeters is equal to a meter, and so what I'm going to do is put the meters on the bottom and the centimeters on the top. Now remember, I'm putting the meters on the bottom, so we'll cancel out with these meters there. Okay, and then I know that it is equal to 2.54 centimeters is one inch. Okay, and the centimeters cancels with the centimeters, and I'll be left with just inches. Okay, and let's get this calculator back up. Okay, so clear. Okay, so I have 1 times 100 divided by 2.54, and I'm left with this huge number, so I'm just going to round, I'm going to say 39.37, 39.37 inches, or 3.937 times 10 to the 1 uh, inches. Okay, and that's my answer. So. You can see that you doing um, unit conversions between imperial and metric, and metric to imperial is pretty much the same as doing um, doing them within their own unit uh, or their own measurement uh, types. However, um, you just have to know at least one of the unit conversions between them. So how to get uh, for either from uh, centimeters to inches or meters to miles or something like that. You have to at least know one of those. Um, you know, the same thing for weight or mass. Um, you know, if you want to convert from grams into pounds, uh, you have to know what the conversion rates are and so forth, so on and so forth. Uh, anyways, that's uh, that's this concept. So if you have any other questions, uh, put a link in the comment bar or send me a video or contact me in some other way, and I'll try and help you very much. Uh, if you do like these videos, please subscribe and have a great day.